Hey, what's going on? It's DJ Mike here at the Sheraton Wall Center. See my man Mo? There he is. That's my boy. He's uh, going to be uh, taking care and finding me some people to talk to. It's rolling. Uh, and I'm going to go undercover today to find out how cause players deal with love. I'm just a Superman going undercover at a place where Superman doesn't exist, apparently. I didn't know that. How's it going? Because you know there's all kinds of love. I know these guys have love for you know, video games, love for uh, putting on uh, costumes, they have love for um, masturbation, perhaps, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, Ollie, I don't know, I'm just guessing, but that's why today I'm going undercover, dressed as Superman, to find out what these folks do for love. Let's go find out. So I'm here with... Jessica. No, 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 you're... Uh, oh, yeah, um... So you are a lady? Male? For the, yeah, character. Okay, so you're... Oh, okay, so you're the male character, or you're a lady playing a male character. Yeah. That's so 2016. Guess so. All right, so tell me your idea of a perfect wedding. Perfect wedding. Ooh, well, I'm a pastry chef, so I'm going to make my own wedding cake and stuff. And, like, and you're going to make some man very happy if you're making pastries. Yeah, exactly. So your character is anti-love? I don't think she's I love. I just think she's like really cute and kind of nerdy and I mean and jaded. No, yeah, like awesome. What's your character name? Uh, Sam. She's from Princess Mario. Oh, that's crazy. Ritsuka is using his fighter and his fighter is using Ritsuka. Oh. Since his brother died in his seat at school. If you were to get married and have a wedding, what would be your perfect wedding? Yeah, you want a cosplay wedding? <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh, wait, so what would it be? What would be the scenario? Uh, multiple universes coming together. So do you have a boyfriend, girlfriend? Uh, early dating. Oh, early dating stage. Nice. Is he uh, or she a cosplayer? Yeah. Yeah. What What do they dress up as? Uh, usually the stuff that I have to make. <laughs> so I gotta. I'm gonna make this for you, and uh, you have to wear it. Now. Oh, sweet! So you have a cause slave. Would they consider me if I DJ this? Or would they consider me Superman? Yes. I would be Superman. I'm gonna do her wedding. That's all there is to it. Yeah. They, everybody thinks he killed his brother, but he didn't. It was this organization that he knows nothing about. So it's very. It's like a soap opera. Yes, but better because there's magic and fighting. This is the days of our cause lives. You know you want me, baby. You know I want you too. They call me Superman. I'm here to rescue you. I want to save you. Oh. It, didn't go, it didn't go through me. I'm Superman, so I'm all good. Because, like, I guess it's already complicated right now. Uh, I'm too busy going into the uh, Algiri. No time for love. No time for Toka, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, but how does a man like yourself, because you're obviously high testosterone, right? How do you get it out? How do you vent it out if you don't um, have love, man? Probably just kill other ghouls. You yeah. just kill people. Yeah. Alright, so, okay, so instead of love, <laughs> you guys, this is something for you to really focus on. Instead of love, kill people. <laughs> it's way easier. Okay? What would be your perfect wedding? Um, hmm. Probably just like a stage full of blood. <laughs> a guess. stage full of blood? And an infinite supply of RC cells for everyone. Uh, I'm with Robin. No, 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 you're oh. a guy. Yeah, Robin. Like, yeah, Robin. Oh, it's Robin? Yeah. It's such a normal name. Yeah, what I know, happened? Right? I don't know. Is it like Prince Robin or anything? Or? I'm a guy who woke up on the side of the street one day and then joined the band of adventurers. Oh, dude, I so want that life. That is amazing. Okay, what do you do? What's yours? I'm Lux. Lux? Yeah. And what, what are you? I'm from League of Legends. Oh, from League of Legends. Yeah. I've heard of League of Legends. I'm from the League. I'm a League of my own as well. Okay. Super League. Yeah, we're both really. See you in the playoffs. If you had to create a wedding, 
something really small. Yeah. Not a lot of people, just close friends. Yeah, yeah. And then party the whole night. And just party, right? Yeah. Nice. Um, well, one more thing. Uh, love. Have you ever been in love with someone? Yeah. You have been? Yeah. yeah. And uh, what's the best feeling about being in love with somebody? Seeing them. Hanging out with them. Spending time. Have you been with a, uh, a girlfriend who is in the cosplay? Yeah. yeah. And what happened? Uh, just fell out. Did, uh, did she undervalue you as a cos? As no, a, as no. A character? we're still friends. Oh, you still? Yeah. yeah, but the fact that you were on the side of the ground, did she look at you and go, you were found on the side of a road, you know what I mean? I didn't need some guy, I need a warrior, I need a guy like that. I need a guy with uh, claws on his back, you know. She's not gonna get anything better than me because I'm actually secretly a dragon as well. So, Mo, where are you? In this stuff yesterday, I night fought the Joker. Oh, really? Really, really. It was pretty good. I needed to see that. Do you have uh, Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, I'm married for ten years. Married for ten years? Yes, sir. Please. I told my wife, "What? You want to go and work and make all the money, and I can stay at home, husband, and do this? I'm cool." House husband. Yeah, it's 2015, man. Equal rights. 2016. 2016. Yeah. Home. Tell me about your wedding. Uh, it was basically we were together so long, and that that was the end of it. <laughs> that was it. You guys <laughs> just signed it. As a, that was it. That was it. What's your uh, favorite part about love with your wife? What's uh, the best thing? I don't know. There's a lot of wonderful things with my wife. She's an amazing woman. Mm. Uh, she gets mad at me sometimes. Can't blame her. I'm difficult. Uh, but uh, she's put up with my ass for over 10 years. Hasn't thrown me out yet, so I'm winning. <laughs> nice. That's so cool. Oh, do you want to give me the stare? Like a killer stare? Ooh. Nice. Have you not played Pokemon? No. No, I don't. I don't play Pokemon. I have a life. Uh, I'm here with who I used to call Fishhead. Sorry, what's your name again? It's Magikarp. Magikarp. She's a Pokemon. Uh, a po po girl. It's a po girl. Pokemon. Just a Pokemon. Pokemon. What is it? So gender bias in the Pokemon world. Why? You always. What do you mean? Well, why aren't there Poke girls? But it's not Pokemon. It's Pokemon. Like Jamaican Pokemon. Like Pokemon. Oh, oh, I see. Like, it's like, hey, Pokemon. Like, when you're in Jamaica and someone rolls up to you, say, Pokemon. That's like fighting words almost down there. So, do you have a boyfriend? I do. You do? Is he here today? No. Oh, no. Uh, is he, uh, does he, is he inter interested in cosplay as well? Uh, no. No, he doesn't? Oh, my God. It's an epidemic. No, you have no idea. It's an epidemic. All the women here, their boyfriends don't know that they're dressing up and coming out here. Like, they don't do it. Really? Why is that? Why is that? I'm counting on you, Madge. I think what I think is going on Tell me. is that men are afraid yes. to touch on their creative side. I'm touching myself right now, creatively. If you are uh, uh, going to get married to your boyfriend, what is your perfect wedding? What is the perfect wedding for you? Perfect wedding. Yeah. I haven't even thought that far. Yeah, but if you have to have a wedding, would you do a dress up wedding? Would you just do a regular wedding? Would you do, like, what kind of wedding would you have? I, I would like half and half. Do a half half? To do a Pokemon theme one? Or just a cosplay theme one. Anyone can tell me who's your favorite cosplay. Would you hire Superman as your DJ? Yeah. yeah. What is he, like, a commander? Are you a commander? He's a commander. Wait, what is this thing here, man? What is this? This, this is Wigglytuff. She is my love, I This guess. is your love. This is my love. Oh, we've hit the <laughs> jackpot. The love jackpot. Have you ever felt love? No, I love you. Like, you, you're loving... This is obviously a new love. Yes, yes. Maybe maybe that's what I love. It's the new love. The, the fresh love. The freshness. The, the chase. The fresh cotton. Yes. Uh, or, or whatever material it may be. Yeah. Is there a heart underneath this armor? Okay, we're, this is a lost cause. This is a lost cause. You no, know, like, he's lost you. Like, what is his, what is his deal? Like, what is he dressed with? Like, what is it? Anything. Is anything, really. Um, I made him a Robin costume from, like, Batman and Robin. Yeah, yeah. Because his actual name is Robin. Oh, nice. So, he likes that one. <laughs> he just met a guy named Robin. Nice. Yeah, he's, he doesn't have a girlfriend. Oh. I don't know what his problem is. Uh, Alright, so... Do you want to find love? He does. Ladies, he wants love. That's hard to find in the open market. Oh, okay. 
can you have sex in that suit? <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Oh, one more question. Um, do you want to get married? Man, ladies, this is your opportunity. You want a strong man, right? With lots of robotic material. This is your person. This is your man. Is there a human under there? Can I see your face? This is a big reveal, ladies. Ladies. That is not a battle-tested face, man. Superman never made any money for saving the world from Solomon Grant. Rather a guy that dresses in a suit or dresses up in a costume? Well, if they're dressing up in costume every day, that might be a bit strange. Like LARPers. Yeah. You know what a LARPer is? No. Oh, you don't know what a LARPer no. is? I <laughs> Yeah, the way you Sitting beside him for two hours. Like, I started with three pairs. That's so cool. Very cool. All right, so I'm here with DJ from Mars. Miss Boxhead. She's a Boxhead. Oh, that's right. I'm a DJ. I should have known that. I didn't even think about it. Underneath here is a round head. I swear to you. All right, so we're talking uh, to people about love and relationships. Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend? Uh, okay, no, it's not a pro, and we're gonna skip that question. Okay, so they're gonna teach me the move. This is like uh, the cosplay Macarena. Macarena? Oh, yeah, This is like the cosplay Macarena. Macarena. Um, have you, uh, uh, what is your opinion of love? <laughs> It doesn't translate too well to English. It doesn't translate, uh, <laughs> what, what language are you coming from? Mars. Oh, from Mar Martian language. <laughs> oh, well, how does, how is love on Mars? What is love on Mars like? She can't say, can't talk about it. On Earth TV, no. We can't talk about it on Earth TV. This is the most in-depth interview I've ever had. It says I'm gonna have to grind this one out. All right, hold on. Real love for you, sir. Is it regular or unleaded? All right, ready? I want everybody to be fierce. Okay? We need to be the best. Because we need to be the best right now. I've worked so hard for this. Here we go. Five, six, seven. And what happens after this? Well, back I, have to to go, I have to go back to Mars. Yeah. I have to find my spaceship, which is parked yeah, somewhere. Yeah. You parked your spaceship in Vancouver? Yeah. What's parking like on a spaceship? <laughs> Like yeah, like what's it? What's it like? It must be hell to buy time. Hell parking a minivan. I don't know what it would be like parking. Listen, you need a cloaking device. You need a tow line. Cloaking device, tow line. You need a really large building. A large building. Mm -hmm. Holy lots crap, that's a lot. Lots of trees. This is just for parking a spaceship in Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and we still can't talk about boyfriend. No. Oh, okay. Classified information. Classified, sorry. Secret Martian classified information. All right, well, I've never DJed on Mars, uh, with a DJ on Mars, but if you do get married, let me know. I will fly out there and I will DJ your wedding. What model of car do you love? Big. He likes big butts. He likes cars with big ends, right? Like a minivan, station wagon. He's a freak. He's a freak. All right, so I'm here with Arrow, right? Arrow, man, this is, we together, we fight crime on the CW network. Now, has Arrow ever had a Cupid's arrow through his heart? Yes, by Cupid herself. By Cupid herself? Yeah, it was real desperate one day. Okay, so you're telling me, wait, bring it in closer, bring it in closer. So you're telling me that you, Bang ugly with people.
Dude, we got exclusive here. We got exclusive. What's Cupid like? Uh, you can see, think she's all sweet and innocent, but no, she's a lot more freakier. Freaky Cupid. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Anybody that's shooting arrows at people and trying to hit them in the ass with an arrow is freaky. I knew it. All right, so I found out a lot of uh, really good things about love here at the cosplay convention uh, here in Vancouver, and I found out a few different things. One, uh, ladies, if you're uh, looking for guys down here, don't do it. If you can't sew, guys, don't come down here because uh, the women aren't going to want you. If you can't sew a costume, uh, you're out of luck. You're in getting no action. And two, I've realized that uh, weddings for these guys, you know, a lot of people want normal weddings, a lot of people want cosplay weddings, you know, whatever it is that's going to make you happy and is going to connect you with your husband or wife or, or partner for the rest of your life, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is just go and do it. And remember, I work so hard! I can help you make that happen. Go to acdjvancouver.ca and let's talk about your wedding. Whether it's a costume, you want me to dress up as Superman, or you just want me to dress as DJ Mike. <laughs> nice. That's love on the streets. I'll see you next time.